Okay, so the next lesson is on ratios, and ratios are basically all about sharing or dividing stuff up, similar to fractions, but a little bit different. So the way I like to uh, talk about ratios, just a brief example, is I'm gonna, I've just bought 20 sweets from the shop, and I'm going to share them with my little sister. Now she's a lot smaller than me, I'm a greedy pig, so I'm going to take three sweets. For every one sweet, my sister gets. Okay, so I take three sweets, so it's one for you and three for me. Okay, so in each round that I do, so I've got 20 sweets, let's just remind ourselves of that, that's the total number of sweets I've got. So in each round that I do, three for you and one for, three for me and one for you, each round I do, I'm giving out four sweets, aren't I? I'm getting three, she's getting one. So there's four sweets in each round. So, how many rounds am I going to be able to do before I run out of sweets? Well, I've got 20 sweets, so I'll divide that by the 4. It will tell me how many rounds I'm going to do before the sweets run out. So I find that I can do 5 rounds of sweets. So, how many sweets am I going to get in 5 rounds? I'm going to get 3 times by 5 sweets in 1 round. So I'm going to get, in 5 rounds, I'm going to get 15 sweets. My little sister, she's going to get three, one, times five rounds. So she's only going to get five sweets. So I get 15 and she gets five. And we can see that they add together to give us our 20 sweets. So we know that must be right. So what we've actually done is we've shared the sweets out in the ratio three to one. And that's ratios. I'll give you another example. Okay, so this time uh, we're going to imagine we're an Uncle Oompa working at Willy Wonka's chocolate factory and we're bagging up um, some revels. Now, we know there's got to be a total of 40 in each bag and we know that the coffee, the orange and the Maltesers have to be shared out in the ratio 2 to 3 to 3. Okay? So we need to work out how many we're going to be putting in. So again, we need to work out in each round that we put in, put in two uh, coffee, two orange, and then two more teas. We need to work out how many in each round they're going to be. So we do 2 plus 3 plus 3. We add all these together. So we get 2 plus 3 plus three, so that's how many they're going to be, and we find that that equals eight. So, now what we do, work out how many times we're going to have to do that, so we do four divided by eight, which gives us five. So, how many coffee? So the coffee equals two times five, which is going to give us ten. The orange equals 3 times 5, which is going to give us 15. And the Maltese is the same as the orange, so we just don't need to bother doing that. Then again, we can just write in 15. And we can see again, if we add these up, we get to 40. Always worth checking that at the end, just to make sure you've not made a mistake somewhere. But there we go, we find out that that is... How many? And one last question. We find out that Dave and Sue and Mary. Okay, they've inherited some money. They've inherited ten thousand pounds from their grandma. And she specified in the will that it must be shared out in the ratio five to three. To two. Okay, so we have five pounds for David, three pounds for Sue, two pounds for Mary. How much money is going to be in each round? Well, we need five plus three plus two, so that equals ten. Okay, how many times do we have to do it? We're going to have to do it ten thousand divided by ten. So that obviously equals a thousand.
Okay. Dave gets five lots, so Dave's going to get five times a thousand, so Dave's going to get five thousand pounds. So that's Dave's. Sue is going to get two lots, three lots, sorry, so she's going to get three thousand. And Mary's going to get two lots, so Mary is going to get two thousand. There we go, we divide it up in the ratio 5 to 3 to 2.